it was new. I studied, I fumbled, I failed, I studied again. So I think I gave Jai for like three times. No one knew about this. Uh, this is the first time telling someone. So uh, I did my bachelor's from uh, computer science, uh, Bhopal actually to be very specific. And uh, I had then worked for Tata Consultancy Services, uh, TCS for 2.5 years. And then I like throughout this journey of bachelor's and uh, my work in TCS, I studied for GRE, uh, cracked and uh, then went to uh, do my master's for, from Indiana University, Bloomington and currently I'm working as a software dev in Microsoft. I was lucky, uh, I was at the right time, at the right place. So I landed in my third semester, like before I was graduated. So I had a job uh, four months before I graduated. Like when I came, I, at least I'm just talking about from my experience, I did not know what the networking was. So I just knew like, oh, I should set up the LinkedIn account. Uh, okay, I'll do that. Initially, I was not good at networking because I did not knew, and I, I'm still not, to be very honest. Like, why should I just uh, fake about it? Like, I have cool networks now. But I think I met right people at the right time. Um, one of the greatest uh, network networking uh, source was LinkedIn for me. And that's how I landed, job, landed the job in Microsoft because I met some recruiters but one thing that is uh, different that I would say is just don't uh, be like upfront about like, oh, can you refer me or can you like, you know, uh, give me a job. I think people over in the US are ready to give you whatever you want, but you have to ask them, like ask as if you really mean it. Just approaching people with the right mindset uh, is the network. You don't have to do any extra effort of like, uh, I should go to some uh, career counseling sessions and that's only where don't force yourself it's just I'm, what I'm saying it, it should come naturally and uh, yeah yes and no also because Indiana is in like east coast like it's it's way out from the west coast where the Silicon Valley is so all the good companies like these uh, small startups or these companies does not fly to uh, East Coast all the way, right? They can get the same thing in the West Coast itself. So that was pretty hard for me uh, because there was there were a few companies that you can apply in Indiana, but I did not want to work in Indiana. I want to like come in the West Coast. So that was my major aim. So for me, uh, and for most of us in our batch, uh, I mean, all of us, we have to apply through LinkedIn and we have to find a job ourselves uh, because you can get the job in India itself and my one of few of my friends did get that but uh, if you want something like, uh, like some big companies or some startup culture or some other uh, things I think you have to apply it by yourself and uh, that's a hustle but it's fun because I mean looking back uh, it's fun when you go through it it's a hustle so. great thing about studying in US is like the flexibility that you get in choosing your uh, courses so you can mix and match right so you can mix with like two difficult subjects with one easy so you can just uh, not easy in sense like it's nothing but like something that you are already uh, you know about so for me it was uh, web development one course and two of like AI and ML so that way you can mix and match but I did something wrong like in first semester when I went I took all of the three subjects as a like hard one. So my first semester was really uh, challenging. The process of taking the courses is on you. Like it, it's your choice. You can take all of them easy or you can take like whatever, whatever suits your choice, right? And that's the beauty I think uh, in studying abroad or the US, like you, you get the flexibility of choosing whatever you want to study. Now for the part-time job, I think uh, I'll always say, and I, I have said this before, that the, that was my best uh, decision to do a part-time job in a cafe. No shame at all. Like it was like a, a, a moment of uh, like euphoria for me because the exposure that I got doing the part-time job and uh, the the fun that I had, it was amazing. So definitely do the part-time job if you can. 
took a loan of 30 lakhs and uh, and i think that was enough for me um, so i did my whole graduation under that and uh, for repaying it back um, i got a good bonus so <laughs> so, so i was able to uh, repay that uh, like soon enough like in matter of two months when i joined i mean you can't do anything about it like it's not in your hand so fretting about it like worrying about it like, when i will i be able to secure it or not nothing can do the least is like find yourself a company which can take care of all these things so for me microsoft has a good legal team right so honestly i'm not worrying about it like if i got to get a h1b or not because they'll transfer me to the, another country and they'll bring me back so i think uh, initially um, like thinking about all these uh, questions which are not in your hand like uh, what's going to be happening when trump comes into the picture will i be getting the visa or not i think just do whatever you want to do like if you want to go to the us just apply and go through the process generally the startups are like pretty hesitant about uh, sponsoring but uh big companies big tech companies like google microsoft facebook amazon they are like all ready to sponsor you and they take care of your sponsorship without even like going through all those hassle you have to just fill a form and the legal team will come and do everything for you for from uh, submitting your application to your fees to everything so every company i'm not saying like only these big companies sponsors i'm just saying um like even startup sponsors you like and most of the companies now have uh, their offices in uk or canada which is just like very near to us or even in india so like my friends who are in startup like um they went to these different countries like they send it to your different location and they bring you back on l1 visa for instance so i think for most of the part if you are being selected given the fact that you want to do sponsorship they will take care of you even if it's a startup if you want to do masters from any foreign country don't do it because uh, sharma ji ke bete ne bhi kiya hai right do it because you want to do it don't do it because your parents are forcing you to do it like because he has done it like unke bete ne kiya so you should also do it i think you should do it because you are passionate about it and when you're passionate about it as i've said it before uh, you don't worry about the loan you don't worry about the job security you just enjoy uh, you have those moments uh, where you're like oh this is wrong you start thinking differently right so i think uh, everyone should follow that one nike motto that uh, the motto motto of nike which is just just do it even if your heart is like 30% there I mean it's right your heart is your heart always know what's right for you so just listen to it and uh dive into it like take risk and uh enjoy the process like don't worry about it it's going to it's going to be all right